For this developing story, some Chicago residents spending the holiday weekend cleaning up from drenching rains. Sunday's flash flooding sending a deluge of water into homes and businesses all across the area. WGN's Brona Double T is live in the Austin neighborhood with a look at some of that damage. Brona. Good evening, guys. Yeah, we came here at the request of neighbors who said the damage was unbelievable and while we were here the mayor showed up as well so we jumped in to ask him what can be done for this community. We've spoken to some of the people here we've been in some of the homes yeah. a lot of damage a lot of them kind of feel like they've been abandoned they don't know what to do what are you saying to those people today? Well that's why we're here today I've, yeah. I've, you know look it's why I ran for office you know I know the feeling when when government is not doing its part to fulfill its promise to make sure that Schools are fully funded, access to affordability and creating jobs and, you know, redoing our infrastructure. I mean, these are the very ideas that I ran on because I know what that feels like when, when, when there is not enough to go around. Now, the big question is, is there enough to go around? Because there are a lot of people who need help after such a dramatic amount of rainfall yesterday. Now, the mayor had a whole entourage here with him, including newly elected Cook County Commissioner Tara Stamps, who recognizes this is, for the most part, an elderly community and one that will need additional assistance. Get that to them, though, because it's all well and good. I mean, I, I, I'd like that the mayor came down and is going door to door, and that's that's wonderful for people to see that. But once he leaves, these people still have a cleanup operation. To they do. On. So he's um, leveraging his power as the as the chief mm -hmm. um, to get streets and sand out here to provide support, to get the dumpsters, to get aid, to get people over here to help seniors, um, to empty out basements, and using the full weight of his office to provide some s support for our neighbors. Yeah, but it is. It's hard. Now, we did chat to some of those elderly neighbours, including Essie Gilmore and Audrey Brown, both of whom say there were several feet of water in their basements yesterday. They say they haven't seen flooding like this in almost 40 years. Their neighbour, Makia Alexander, took us into her basement as well, where the water has receded since yesterday, but she was climbing over everything down there yesterday morning to save something very special to her, the family photo albums. But she says the folks who live around here are feeling a bit lost about how all of this gets fixed up. I risked it. I like climbed on the couch and like tiptoed over and tried to get what I could get and I was only able to get uh, a few little things um, that just was, I mean, it's soaked in water, like stuck together still. We uh, have homeowner's insurance mm -hmm. and like a backup insurance, but I'm, we, we were not really flood covered. And I feel like that's the same for a lot of the people in my in this area and a lot of the elderly and stuff. And so I was just looking for some type of direction. From I was chatting via text with Makia in the last half an hour or so. She says some of the neighbours around here have spotted the streets and sanitation trucks clearing out and helping to lift some heavy items like couches that have been lost to the flooding. We've also personally seen the water department out here too within the last hour or so. So it certainly seems as though things are moving in the right direction. Well, live in Austin, Bruno Tumulty, WGN News.